So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Ultimate Hunting video. Now it's been a little while since my last Ultimate Hunting video but recently there has been some really interesting new images and screenshots shared by the Ultimate Hunting team onto their various social media sites and I figured it was about time that I did another video and showed off some of the really cool things that have been shown off on those social media sites. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is this, Ultimate Hunting Gear, the 416 Rigby Cape Sleeper. The 416 Rigby is a fantastic rifle. It's one that I really like in real life and I was very, very excited to see that this will be in Ultimate Hunting. Now, as you can see, there's some info here on this page as well. This is a big game gun for buffalo, hippo, giraffe, those kind of animals. It's a really awesome, very, very powerful gun and yeah, I can't wait to actually get my hands on it in game and try that out. Then we had this little post which was do you prefer binos or do you prefer spotting scopes and it looks like there's going to be the option to have either binoculars or spotting scopes in game and you can see there there's the image of a couple of different spotting scopes which I think is really cool. I really like my spotting scope in the Hunter Classic. It's really really good for long distance spotting so seeing this coming to Ultimate Hunting is again very very exciting. Now then we move on to this post where you can see you have the, the classic steel sight or the more modern sight there and just asking sort of which you'd prefer out of the two. I'd probably use both or try both out at least. Um, it's just really great again to just see the level of customization that there's going to be for your weapons in this game and that's kind of why I included this because once again it's just showing more customization options and the more customization options in my opinion the better because it just makes your gun feel more tailored to you. Then we had this image get shared which there's some text here along the top which reads rain or thunder clouds are not really that common in Africa but if they appear there during your hunt you better watch closely as water is going to fill local rivers, ponds and holes in the ground creating water zones in ultimate hunting. So once again I think that's kind of talking about the sort of dynamic zone system that they've been talking about where zones can appear and then move around as time goes on which I think is really cool and really interesting because of course things would change you know as water sources so you know some dry out and then some fill up you're going to see animals moving around in different places so I really like the idea of that and this image is just really really cool you can see this looks to be some kind of lookout tower with again some beautiful looking scenery in the background as well I think this just looks like like a really really cool image and if this was you know straight from the game that I'd be really happy to play a game that looked like that. Now moving on to this section which I found really really interesting this post is quite cool in my opinion and it reads if you ever wondered what's being prepared regarding guns wonder no more engraving comes to ultimate hunting let us know whether you prefer to get such beauties and others by completing special missions or simply by spending your in-game currency. So basically talking about whether you'd prefer these to be mission rewards or just purchasable uh, customization options. And it has this image here of a carved stock with a Cape Buffalo head on it. And it is just so incredibly cool looking. If you could have this on, say, like the, the 416 Rigby, that would be so, so cool to me. And I'd love to see um, sort of customization options like this. I'd like to see some of them be rewards. You know, maybe you take out a Cape Buffalo with a, a perfect heart shot and then you get a certain gun skin or something. But I also don't mind seeing purchasable options for customization as well. I think a mix of the two is a really good idea. And this just looks so awesome, in my opinion. I think this is really, really impressive. And definitely, when I saw it, something I wanted to share with you guys. Now moving on to this image here and this one is a little bit interesting. This was the first sort of like I, I'd say first draft of what the Kate Buffalo model was going to look like and they asked for people's feedback on this. Now I've got to admit when I first saw this I wasn't hugely impressed. Overall the, the model shape and everything looks pretty good but the actual finer details especially in the face and in the eyes and in some of the fur textures just didn't look that good. But they took on people's feedback and then they came up with this which looks 
a lot better. They've made the eyes far less human, which was the main criticism that I really saw of the uh, the original model that we were shown, is that the eyes were too human, there was far too much white around the eyes that was visible, and it just needed to be overall darker eyes with a lot less of that white visible. And you can see they've taken on that feedback really well and improved that, as well as some of the textures on the model have been really improved. And you know, it's still a work in progress that could still be improved upon further. And I was just really, really happy to see that they are really actively taking on people's feedback and then using that to improve their models and overall improve their game. So I really wanted to show that off because I think that that's a really big deal. Now, moving on to take a look at a couple of animation sequences that they shared. First, taking a look at the running animation for the Cape Buffalo. Now, please do forgive me for the uh, the play bar coming up along the bottom there and the emojis, as I did clip this from their Facebook page and it was only a very short little clip. And unfortunately, that just kept popping up every time I tried to record it. But as you can see, really, really cool animation for these guys. Very, very smooth and very lifelike with how they run. I think they've done a fantastic job. Similarly, they also shared the running animations for the baboon, which once again look really, really smooth and really well done. It's very cool to see this kind of stuff and actually see the behind the scenes work that's going into making these as lifelike as possible because I think it just shows how good a job they're actually doing so far and it makes me more and more excited to see, you know, more progress and what the models are going to look like once they're you know fully fleshed out and it's the full models running around like that i think it's really exciting now the next thing that i found was this little clip on their facebook page and this is really cool so this is a little demonstration of their random antler system and just showing you here on what appears to be an elk antler some of the ways that you know it could be randomized and you can see how it goes from looking one way to looking completely different and i think this is really cool and a really cool little demonstration of how their system is going to work and again i'm really keen to see how it actually plays out in game seeing these things and the behind the scenes it's really cool because it shows us what they're working on and how these systems are going to work. So I'm always really keen to see stuff like that. And yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how it plays out in game. Now, now moving on to this image. This image got shared earlier today and this is basically why I ended up making the video today because I had to share this screenshot with you guys. This is an actual in-game screenshot captured on Unreal Engine 4, as you can see at the top of this image, of a giraffe that has been hunted in Ultimate Hunting. And how amazing does this image look? I think this looks fantastic. This is so realistic and it just looks awesome. And this makes me want to get my hands on this game and go out and chase some of the bigger game that they're going to have. You know, the hippos, the elephants, the giraffes. It's really interesting to me to see a modern hunting game tackling the bigger game species because we haven't really seen a game that tackles the the really really big stuff like elephants and giraffes since some of the really old hunting games so this just has me really excited to actually go and see what it's like and go and chase after some giraffes but just to finish the video off this is a screenshot that I took from the Facebook group replying to someone that says, hey, no specific date yet, but we aim to release the game somewhere at the end of 2022 slash beginning of 2023, depending on what platform you're on. So I'd imagine PC is probably going to be the earlier release, so probably somewhere at the end of 2022, and I'm imagining consoles are probably looking at the beginning of 2023. But yeah, no actual confirmed release date, but hoping for the end of the year slash start of next year. So I'm really, really excited for this. And of course, you guys will see me playing this game on the channel. I am very, very excited to play it and I'll do what I always do, play the game and give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Some really cool new stuff in there. And yeah, some stuff that I'm really particularly excited about and I cannot wait to actually, uh, like I said, I can't wait to get my hands on this game and actually see how all of this plays out and how well it, it runs in the game itself. And that's always going to be the, the real test is seeing actual gameplay um, because it's really cool to see all these screenshots and all the behind the scenes stuff, but we need to see how it looks in the game and how stuff plays out. And that's why I was so excited with the giraffe screenshot, because it is an actual in-game screenshot. 
and that's the stuff i'm looking for is more actual in-game stuff from the game actually working and playing so yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching as always and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you